Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this screenshot of this word and wanted to do a this word like this on a I'm guessing a black mug, so you want to do inverse engraving where this doesn't engrave. And she knew what she was talking about because she said, you know, just reverse the colors and blah blah blah. And a couple things I'm curious for the one I'm doing the video for. I, I recreated your shape basically, and if you're doing it on a tumbler, this tumbler was done with just a straight line. Maybe you've just seen this somewhere because you would want to do this just in a rectangle. So this was pretty easy to recreate. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page, which it already is. I'm going to get our one that would be ready to engrave out of the way. And this is a 10-point line. So what I would suggest is to take this and left-click your text and right-click uh, outline you can't do that with a 10 point line it doesn't work but you can take that line and go to convert it go to a range and convert outline to an object and then you can left click and right click and then you have a space well um, something you, you could fill in and you'd want it kind of the same, maybe, I'm thinking, so parallel dimension tool, trying to go perfect and measure it, it's, it's 0.14 of an inch. Take your outside line and go to a range and break the curve apart, so then you have individual parts. I hit the delete key and I'm bringing it back. Then go to effects, contour, contour to the outside, 0.14 of an inch. Hit apply. Go up to a range and hit break contour apart. And she she knew what she was talking about because she was talking about it's basically reverse engraving. So then you would just take your smart fill tool and fill this in and fill in your little facets and then fill in this. And there you have it. Uh, that would engrave on a black cup. Now you would take the whole thing and left click, no outline, so you'll get rid of your hairline. It shouldn't matter because, well, I draw on hairline, it wouldn't matter on this cup. But what I'm saying on this cup, this cup is a rectangle, and you're not a rectangle. If you're just trying to, if you saw this somewhere and you're just trying to create a, this would almost be like a patch, kind of reminds me of a patch on a Boy Scout's arm. But that's how you would do that. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.